Consider a system with the paged virtual memory has 4 KB pages. Understand here, paged virtual memory is having 4 KB pages. Understand here, virtual address is of 32 bits and physical address 30 bits. And operating system uses inverted paging mechanism. And next, pageable entry includes, what is said, pageable entry includes page number bits and 12 overhead bits. Then how big is the? the basic inverted page table including page number and the overhead bits now first of all he is talking about what inverted okay paging now i would like to give the overview of the inverted paging here so before we move on to the question so mix make the proper revision okay of the inverted paging through this question okay right so if you take the inverted paging first let's see the basic points related to inverted paging why we go for inverted paging let's make some okay basic uh, simple clarity of the okay concept why we go for inverted paging okay remember in the simple paging generally you maintain okay conventional paging i'm saying simple paging means conventional paging in the conventional paging every process will have its own page table every process will have its own page table remember Paging is with respect to every process and every process will have its own page table. Now, if the number of processes in the system are getting increased, then the memory required to maintain the page tables of the processes will also increase. If the number of processes in the system are increased, then the, the memory required to maintain page tables of the processes will also increase. So, there is an idea okay, of that inverted paging. Okay, in the inverted paging, what we'll do is uh, we maintain only one page table for all the processes. Remember, inverted paging is just a uh, okay, theoretical idea. Practically, this is not used. Practically, this is not possible to implement, first of all, and this is not practically used also, right? It is just an idea, okay, to have only one page table for all the processes, okay? So, to, okay, bringing this idea, okay, to make this idea, okay, of... Uh, making only one page table for all the processes that is the reason we go for inverted paging now you should have a clarity okay what is the reason why we went for multi-level paging and what is the reason why we are going for inverted paging now just okay recap yourself why we went for multi-level paging the reason why we went for multi-level paging is okay to maintain okay overhead of to there is an overhead of maintaining large size page tables to avoid the overhead of maintaining the large size of page tables so that is the reason we went for what multi-level paging okay is the point clear right so here okay why we are going for inverted paging okay to avoid overhead of maintaining the page table for every process to avoid overhead of maintaining the page table for every process okay we will go for what inverted paging in the inverted paging, we will maintain only what? One page table. One page table for all the processes. Only one page table for all the processes. Uh, now understand here, if you see this uh, okay, diagram here, so this is called as an inverted page table. Okay, sometimes uh, remember this is also called as a okay, frame table. Sometimes it is also called as a frame table. So we are maintaining only one page table for all the processes. So, look at here, it's a page number 7 of process 7, page number 5 of process 1, page number 0 of process 3, page number 1 of process 4, page number 7 of process 6, so this is a process 5, 1 and 9, okay, something like that. So, now understand here, CPU always generates a logical address, CPU always generates a logical address and logical address will be divided into two parts, okay, that is a P and a D, just listen here. Logical address will be done on two parts of P and D. So, P will tell you the page number and the D will tell you page offset. P will tell you page number and the D will tell you what? Page offset. Now, remember, okay, so as usual, same thing, page number and page offset. And when you want to search for any particular page, remember, we are going to search with the, both the parameters, that is the page number and the process ID. Now, what is this here? Okay, it's a page number. Look at here. So, if you want to can make a note. So, this is a page number and this is the process ID and this is the corresponding frame number. 
okay so this is the okay page number corresponding process id and corresponding frame number so it means what uh, page number 7 of process 7 is available in the frame number 0 and next uh, <coughs> page number 5 of process 1 is available in the okay frame number 1 so don't confuse okay we are having a same page like page number 7 is there here page number 7 is there here so don't confuse you are having the same page remember this is the page number 7 of process 7 and this is the page number 7 of process 6 so there is no confusion so they are the okay page number same page numbers but they are different process okay so no confusion and remember whenever you are searching for any particular page okay we will search with the both the parameters that is a page number and also okay along with the process id now where is your page number available page number available in the logical address okay you are having page number 8 page number okay let's say i want to search page number 8 of process 9 okay you will search with both parameters page number and corresponding process id so with the both the parameters we are going to search for any particular page so page number will be available in the logical address and where is that process id will be available process id will be available in the pcb okay all the attributes of the process will be available in the pcb right so moreover like okay we know clearly that uh, cp will always execute only one process at any point of time cp will always execute only one process at any point of time whichever the process it is executing whichever the process it will executing uh, it will take the corresponding process id from the pcb it will take the corresponding process id from the pcb and we are going to add that uh, okay with the page number with both the parameters uh, okay we are going to search uh, in the inverted page table here now if you observe one important point here uh, in the inverted page table uh, okay look at here it's a page number okay you maintain page number process id and this is a corresponding frame number that is clear but in the inverted paging okay inverted page table how many entries you are having here in the inverted page table how many entries you are having here so just observe here 0 to 7 that is the total 8 entries are there so why you are having 8 entries this is completely the new point and the special point in the inverted page table please listen carefully pay attention so in the inverted page table in the inverted page table number of entries in the inverted page table is same as the number of frames in the pas see these are the okay frames in the pas and these are the las is divided into pages and pas is divided into frames you know that how many frames are there here okay eight so that is the special point okay number of entries in the inverted page table so i'm just making a note number of entries number of entries okay in the inverted page table okay is equal to number of frames number of frames in the pas okay number of frames in the okay pas is that clear number of entries in the inverted page table is same as number of frames in the pis so that is the reason you are having total how many entries here eight entries okay understand that uh, now you take the page number and the okay process id with the both the parameters we are going to search in the inverted page table so look at here so let's say i want to search a example example i have written here so let's say page number eight of process nine so i write here okay in a more elaborate way right so let's say okay right example page number eight okay of process nine so with both the parameters we are going to search so page number eight process seven okay so you keep on searching here okay is it matching here yes okay if it is matching listen carefully if it is matching we will take the corresponding frame number we will take the corresponding frame number it means what uh, page number 8 of process 9 is available in the frame number 7. Page number 8 of process 9 is available in the frame number 7. Okay, right. So, you take the frame number, okay, and you make the physical address. The ultimate goal is to find out what uh, frame number. The ultimate goal is to find out what uh, frame number because uh, the frame number will tell you the physical existence of the page frame number okay will tell you the physical existence of the page okay so frame number will tell you the physical existence of the page 
where the page is actually available in the main memory. Okay, right. Ultimate goal is to find out the frame number because frame number will tell you the physical existence of the page where the page is actually available in the main memory. Because once you get the frame number, then only you make what? A physical address. So, look at here. So, you take that frame number and whatever the D you are having in the logical address, you will copy the same D from logical address to physical address because the page size is same as a frame size and with the help of this frame number you go to the respective frame here whichever the frame you want to go let's say for example frame number 7 you want to go you go to the frame number 7 and with the help of d d will tell you the offset with the help of d okay you go to the respective word okay inside the frame here okay you go to the respective word inside the frame and remember inside that word inside that word Okay, you will have the actual instruction of the process. Inside that word, okay, you will have the actual instruction of the process. Remember, okay, so CPU will fetch that instruction and continue the execution. So, this is how the inverted paging is implemented. Is that clear? Right. So, <clears throat> let us come back to the okay question here. So, see the question. Generally, students will make the okay mistake. Okay. So, small, small, minor mistakes the students will do, okay, right, because uh, with my experience, I am saying, okay, for this question, uh, almost 50 percent students will do the mistake. That is the reason I have taken this question, okay, right. So, if you want, uh, okay, you can pause my video and make an attempt to solve this question. Now, ultimately, <clears throat> what is trying to find out? How big is the inverted page table size, including page number and the overhead bits? So, you need to find out what, okay, in the question, uh, what is asking you to find is, uh, inverted page table size okay please understand here so inverted page table size means what is the formula always the page table means always the same formula page table means always same formula that is number of entries in the inverted page table multiply with the page table entry size number of entries in the inverted page table multiply with the page table entry size okay inverted page table size what is the formula number of entries number of entries in the in the inverted page table multiply with the page table entry size okay so number of entries in the inverted page table okay is same as what number of frames this you should remember okay right number of entries same as what number of frames and how you will get number of frames number of frames formula is what PAS divided by frame size. Okay, we have seen already. Okay, here. So, PAS, how you will get the PAS? PA is given to you in the question, right? Virtual addresses of 32 bits and physical address of what? 30 bits. So, physical address 30 bits, so PAS kya hoga? 2 power 30 bytes because memory is a byte addressable. So, he said clearly, okay, memory is a byte addressable. Okay. Right. Even if it is not given, memory is a byte addressable. Okay. You can see like uh, memory is having virtual memory is having 4 KB pages. Listen here. Consider a system uh, with the paged virtual memory has uh, 4 KB pages. When you say 4 KB pages, uh, what is this here? 4 KB pages means uh, that is the page size. Remember, that is not number of pages. Uh, that is a page size. So, counting can never be in the, okay, bytes. Counting can be bytes. Mein hoga. So, bytes mein diya, to that is the size he is talking about. So, okay, 4 KB pages means 4 KB page size of 4 KB. So, 4 KB means 2 power 12 bytes. So, multiply with the page table entry size. Page table entry size, okay, what is said in the question? Read that, okay. Uh, the page table entry includes, page table entry includes page number bits page number bits plus 12 overhead bits. Now, look at here. If you see the page table entry here, it is okay having what page number bits and 12 overhead bits is saying. 12 overhead bits, whatever is given in the question, 12 overhead bits, whatever is saying that maybe that is for what? Okay, process ID. Maybe that is for process ID. Is that here? So, page table entry he has not clarified. Okay, he is saying that he is storing the page number bits plus 12 overhead bits right so maybe this 12 overhead bits whatever is given maybe that is okay maybe that is for what process id so this is the page table entry is having right so first of all if you want to find out this answer you need to find out page number bits how many bits are required 
for the representation of the page number. How many bits are required for the representation of the page number? How you will get, okay, how many bits required for representing page number? So, it means you need to find out number of pages. That would be found, okay, with the help of number of pages. So, just make the calculation of number of pages. So, let us find out number of pages. Number of pages. You know the formula, number of pages formula, virtual address space divided by virtual address space or LAS, LAS divided by page size. Ah, in the question, he clearly said virtual address is of 32 bits, virtual address space is 2 power 32 bytes and the page size 4, okay, frame size both are same, page size already given 4 KB, so that is 2 power 12 bytes, so B we cancel, so that is 2 power 20, right. So, number of pages, okay, in the question, okay, with the given data, number of pages is 2 power 20, so then the page number, okay page number requires how many bits page number requires okay 20 bits 20 bits is that here so that is the next important point you should remember so number of pages are 2 power 20 to represent number of pages you require 2, 2 power 20 pages are there so to represent every page you require 20 binary bits so now now you can make the calculation come back to here so this bb cancel here so this value is a 2 power 18 and multiply with the page number requires okay 20 binary bits and plus you are having 12 overhead bits and the total combined together so that becomes 32 bits so this will be what 2 power 18 and multiply with the 32 bits 32 bits and look at here so this is 2 power 18 multiply with the 32 bits is equal to how many bytes okay 4 bytes so, that is 2 power 18 multiply with 2 power 2 bytes, that is 2 power 20 bytes. Is that clear? So, this is how, okay, you need to find out. Is that clear? Right. So, generally what the students will do here, 32 bits, okay, they will make something like 2 power 5 and they will do some miscalculation and they will, okay, give the wrong answer. Remember, what is the right answer for this question? 2 power 20 bytes. And that is a B. B is the right answer.